Today I am revealing one of my secrets. I'm going to be showing you how to use billboards and signs and turn them into quote graphics in Photoshop. So grab your laptop, open Photoshop and get ready to learn. So we're here in Photoshop 2021 and you can use previous versions, all of those work. And what we're going to do is jump straight in and open ourselves a file up. So you can see here I've got my own preset. It doesn't matter necessarily which kind of preset you use. I use uh, 3840 by 4800, so it's a pretty big file. And then I run it at 72 PPI. So we're gonna jump in. So I'm gonna set my file name. We'll just call this billboard. Okay, so one of the things I love to do while I'm in Photoshop is use artboards. And artboards are really important for me just to make sure everything's uh, aligned and centered and also just be able to use more than one file within an individual project. So I've got one of my artboards set up here. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is find a photo of a billboard. So I use uh, Unsplash or pexels.com to find those photos and I've already chosen one, but I'm gonna leave links in the description below on how to find Unsplash and Pexels online. And then just go in there, search for billboard, search for sign. You may have to do some digging around to find something, but you'll definitely get something from there. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that sign that I pulled off Unsplash. And now the first thing you kinda of wanna do is just get it centered where you want it. So when I make graphics, I quite like to have mine in the middle of the screen uh, or in the middle of the graphic. So we're just gonna take this sign, we're gonna enlarge it. So once we're happy with placement, we'll hit that uh, arrow button there or you can hit enter on your keyboard. Sometimes it drops out of the artboard. If you just go to the layers panel down here, you can pull it back in. So now that we've got our image in place, what we're gonna do is start to remove the text that's on that sign. And we're gonna do that using the Spot Healing Brush tool. And let me just show you where that is. So if you go to the left-hand side of your screen, go down to the ellipses there, and then you'll see, if you hold on that button, you will see there's a Spot Healing Brush tool there. So click on that. Then you'll take it over to here and you'll see there's that like, do not enter sign on the, on the cursor. That just means that we can't currently edit this particular layer. So if you click on that, it's gonna give you the option to rasterize. That's what you wanna do. So now we've clicked rasterize. We now have like a, a, a paintbrush you can see here. So the key thing to do here is we're gonna probably zoom in a little bit just to make sure we can see what we do. And then we're gonna enlarge our brush size. Uh, so what I'm doing is right clicking on the layer and you'll see that it brings up the, the brush size here. We're gonna bring that up to a size that's bigger than the text. So it surrounds the whole thing. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, now the next step is to just start tracing it. And I would always go for one of the letters or characters or areas that has the most space. What we wanna start doing is building the space outwards. So we'll just come through and start to remove this. And you can see that that one's already gone. So this is just a process of going through and removing all of these areas. If you use a complex letter or character, if you try and remove that first, the chances are it's gonna pull the information from around that and it's gonna get really messy. So try and use the cleanest areas first and work your way into the more complex areas. Now when we get to more complex characters, one of the things you can just do now we've cleared that space around us is just rub the whole thing out. So you can erase that whole thing and that should get rid of it. Okay, so there we have it. The text has been removed. And if we zoom out, you can see that this now looks like a clear sign, which is perfect. This is the basis we want to start with. So just keep it in mind when you're choosing a photo. Some billboards, some signs have a lot of busyness. They have like cracks and lots of different textures on. Those things aren't gonna be removed very well. So now we've got a clear background, we're gonna to start to add the text. And I do this in a bit of a different way to most people. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually draw out a square or a rectangle. So we go down to our rectangle tool on the left here. And then we're just gonna draw this the approximate size of the, of the billboard. So probably something like this. We're gonna make that white. Now we've got that rectangle, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the text on top of it. So go down to a new layer, hit T on your keyboard, or use the text tool on the left. And now we're gonna add our text. And we don't have to set the text just yet, we can just put a placeholder. So we're gonna call this text. So move that into the middle. You can select both uh, the rectangle on the text and then align using the align tools at the top just to make sure it's right in the center. And then what we're gonna do is change the text color. It can be whatever color you want, but I'm gonna replicate the sign that was before it. So I'm gonna get that black. I'm gonna pull that black from the kind of the, the image so it matches. And you'll see that that black actually looks nothing like black. So this is why it's really important to try and match. If you use like a real plain black that you would get by you know dragging all the way to the bottom of the, of the picker, 
you would see that's far too dark and it doesn't work with the rest of the image. So you want to choose a color that's very similar to the image so it blends. And so now we've got our text in the middle, we've got our rectangle. Now we're going to bring those two things together. So if you hold shift and click on text, so you've selected those two things, right click and then go to convert to smart object. Now what this does is it combines both layers together. But what it means is we can edit what's on the outside so we can move it around, we can change it and distort it, which I'll do in a minute. But we can also double click on the image and then change the text within. What this means is we've got the flexibility to edit the text after we've made all the changes, which is really nice. We've got our text here in a smart object. So we're gonna go to V on the keyboard, which is gonna get us back to the select tool or the move tool, and then hit Command T, which brings up our transformation options. So you'll see we can make this bigger, uh, if we hold shift, we can change the proportions. We're not going to do any of those things. What we're going to do is now right click and go down to distort. And so what this means is when we pull the corners in, you'll see it starts to bend the picture. So what we're going to do is now bend the picture to fit the sign. So just grab it and pin it to the corners of the image. And then when you're happy with it, just hit enter or click the uh, commit transform at the top. And so now we can already see that it's starting to look like the sign. It's starting to look like it's part of it. So we've now distorted this smart object and put it in. So it's now starting to look like it's part of the image. So what we're gonna do now is remove the white square and the white background. What we're gonna do is go to blend modes. So we're gonna click on the object, go up to blend modes where it says normal there, drop down. And we're gonna change it to darken. And so this removes that white background and shows the background that we made earlier. So you can see this now starts to look part of the image. The good thing about this is we can now double click on this and change the text to whatever we want. And you can play around with this and come up with your own quotes and come up with your own style, which you could make your own graphic in here and then paste it onto the sign. Like there's pretty, there's a lot of flexibility with this. Okay, so now our text has been changed. What we're gonna do now is start to make it fit the image. If we zoom in, you can see there's a lot of graininess here and the text is really sharp and it starts to stand out. So we wanna try and fix that. So the next step will be to kind of add some effects to this text to make it blend in more. So coming down to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And so if you zoom in, we kind of want to match the blurriness of the things around it. So that to me looks pretty good. Okay, now the second step will be to kind of replicate the noise that's already on the, on the image. So we go down to filter, noise, and then add noise. And if we zoom in again, we're trying to replicate the, the noise that's, that's already a part of the image. So we can see that looks pretty good to me. Okay, so now we've basically got our image. So we've got our text, it's put in place. We have made it blend in more with the image. We've added some noise, added some uh, Gaussian blur. So what I'm gonna do now is just finish off this graphic. I'm gonna add in some text and then we're ready to export. So if you come down to the smart object, double click on the image here, and we're gonna add a quote. Uh, and I'm going to think of a quote right now. Really cringy one. Here we go. I'm going to change the text. Let's do like this. We're going to go the extra cringe mile here. We're going to add a heart in too. Okay, so we're going to save that. So now we've got our heart on there and we've got ourselves a cringy graphic. You're welcome. Uh, and this is looking really good. What we can do now is just to kind of finish this off is we can combine the, the smart object and combine that with the background. So we, all we're gonna do again is convert it to a smart object. So select those two, right click, convert to smart object. And so there we have it. We've got our complete graphic there with our text blended in with the photo and we've got it converted to a smart object so that we can zoom in and out and we can keep that text um, in proportion with everything else. So that's how you do it, that's my secret. Really easy steps. We find an image on Unsplash or Pexels, we bring it in, uh, we remove the text or remove whatever was on the sign already. We then add a rectangle, we add the text on top, we convert that into a smart object. We then change the proportions using the distort tool, put that into place. We remove the background using the dark and blend mode. We then add our effects, uh, our noise and our Gaussian blur, and there we have it. That's our graphic complete. So I'll leave this file in the description as well so you guys can download it, check it out, go through it, see what I did. Thanks again for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment below. Let me know what was the most helpful part of this tutorial for you. And make sure you subscribe for plenty more videos like this to come. See you again soon.